Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher and I also love to doodle. So this is a video in my series of daily doodle videos and currently it is April. So I am using the April doodle challenge from cutelittlepaper.com. And so I'm just, I'm doing five days a week, so I'm not doing every single prompt, but of course you can if you would like. So today is April 10th and the prompt is butterfly. Okay, I've got my little journal ready, a micron pen, a pencil for drawing and shading, a little paper blending tool and an eraser. And let's peek at what we've done so far. We had a cake, some chicks, tulips, snails, little windowsill with plants. This was for the number four and it was a Zentangle pattern. And yesterday we made some beautiful little seed packets. So much fun. I love the variety in these. Okay, so today is butterflies. So some of you may know this, but I raise monarch butterflies in the summer. And last year I released just over a hundred and it is such an amazing experience. So my first thought when I saw the butterfly prompt was to draw a monarch butterfly. The problem with that is that that takes a little bit more artistic skill than just being a doodler. So I don't think we want that pressure today. I think we all just want to play around with drawing cute little butterflies. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So in my own doodles, I've got ways that I love to make butterflies. I'm sure you all have a way that you learned when you were young and um, that you still go to to this day. And then I also Googled some images and clip art and different things to get a few more ideas. So we're just going to make a page filled with cute little butterfly doodles. As we're doing this, if you see any that are too tricky for you, you don't want to do, just skip it. It's okay. This is just about having fun and um, I don't want you to stress about it. Okay. So the first thing I want to show you is probably the most complicated one actually, but it is a Zen Tangle pattern, not from Zen Tangle Company, but um, it is a pattern created by Victoria Camarina. And I'm going to put that on here because if you love this one, then you should look it up and play with it a little more. But this is called Beautifly instead of Butterfly. Isn't that cute? And it is Victoria. Camarina. So I want to show you this one first and then we will go away from this and just do some other fun ones. Okay. I'm going to do it in pencil so you can see how it goes and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to do it down here in the corner. So she does it as one continuous stroke, which I think if I practiced it long enough, I could get the hang of it. But honestly, I feel like that one stroke gets me messed up every time. So what she does is a great big wing and then a little wing. So if you want to go ahead and start that, a big wing and then a little wing. And we can do it in pencil and then we'll trace over it with our ink. And then from that little wing, she goes way up and makes this almost like a cursive lowercase l. So she just goes up and loops around and down. And then her next step, we're going to skip right now, but her next step is to come and loop down here and then come up and make the other side of the wing. So you would do this side, loop up, loop down, make the other side. I found it easier to do the two sides and then we can add the bottom later. So we've got the big wing and little wing, and then I'm just going to flip this over here and mirror it. So I'm going to do a big wing and a little wing. And then I'm going to add this little loop down here that was meant to be part of the stroke, but I just think it makes it 
it's kind of hard for our brains to follow, hard for my brain to follow. And you can give it any kind of little antenna that you like. So that is Beautifly. Isn't that so cute? I'm going to do it again. Maybe I'll do it two more times down here so we can get the hang of it. And then we'll do some other ones. So we would do the big side and the little wing, big wing, little wing. And then loop up and down. And then I just lift my pencil and go back up to the top over here and I mimic this side. So I do the big wing and the little wing. And then I add that little bottom part. And then some antenna. I'm going to do one more, but this time I'm going to change the shape. Okay, we're getting a little tricky. So this time I'm going to do more of like a squarish type um, wing, not square, more triangular, I guess. So instead of being round, I'm just giving it some angles. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom wing. So if that's too complicated, go back and do this one. But just sort of these little triangles. Then I'm going to do my loop up. And back down. And I want to mirror this. I want to start small, go out, and come back in. And then that little one, I go out, down, and come back up. So if you love this one, keep going. Fill your page with these beautiful little beautifies. They're really so cute. Okay, I'm going to take my pen. I'm going to ink these in. Just trace over them. Give them some cute little antenna. And your antenna can have little circles on top. It can have more of a fescue look, which is like, like the little um, teardrop. Or you can make it curly. So I'll make this one a little curly cue. Those are so cute. Okay, let's try a couple more. Got those down. All right, so here's one that I've seen before that I make often. I don't even remember where I saw it, but I just think it's so cute. So it starts out with kind of a spiral, but it starts out kind of big and then just gets smaller. And then we do a wing and a wing and a wing and a wing. And then put in the antenna. I love this one and I make it often now. Okay, I'm gonna do a little one over here. So I just start out with a big spiral and get a little smaller. And you can make your wings a little different if you want. I also absolutely love dragonflies and so I use this same little spiral and I do large dragonfly wings. I'm not going to do them today because the prompt is butterfly so I'm going to stick with butterfly but I think that is so cute. I'm going to do one more right here. I'm going to try to do a little one.
And then I love to add just some little dots as if it's flying around. Okay, let's do some more. So another one that I love to make is a straight line. And then I like to go out and then I loop around and go out again and come back. Go out, loop around, go again and come back. And just change up the antenna, make them however you want. Do another one of those, so a straight line. I can make these longer or, or wider, I guess. Straight line, make your loops. And along that same line is a straight line. So my um, chop, my artist chop, like my initials or my signature, let me see if I can find a piece of scrap paper. So my artist chop, my name is Kelly Jean Bluen. So I make a backwards K and then I curve the bottom. So that's like a J for Jean. And then Bluen, I go like this. And then I add a little dot on top. I don't know why, but it was meant to resemble like a little butterfly. So, um, Anyway, back to this little stick, you can make a butterfly just by making a letter B on both sides. And you can make that center line go all the way in, or it can be out a little bit like mine. You can make the top um, portion larger and the bottom one smaller, but you don't even really need a body. You just need this little line in here. Look how cute this page is. Okay, let's do a couple more. So for this one, I'm going to do, move my book a little bit, a little head and then a body, which automatically makes it look so cute. And then for this one, we're going to do like a heart shaped wing. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to do a nice big heart on both sides. And then for the bottom wing, I'm going to try to tuck it up here. But if you don't have room to tuck it, then just let it come out from behind. Maybe I'll just do that actually. So I'm going to pretend that there's a wing behind it and it's going to come out here and it's just going to be a little bit of a smaller heart. So again, you can tuck it in behind or you can just draw it right out beside there. And then just play around with those antenna, making them spirals, making them straight up off to the side, whatever you want. Okay, ready? Let's do another one similar to this. So I'm going to try to angle mine a little bit different just so these look like they're sort of flying all over. So I'm going to put a head right here and a body. And 
And for this one, I'm going to curve up on both sides. And it's okay if your wings touch another butterfly. And then for this wing, I'm actually going to like give it a little bump in. I can go ahead and do that on both sides. And then I'm going to give it a nice round curve. So I bumped in and then I gave it a nice round curve. And then for the bottom, I'm going to come out from behind like this and give it a little point and then out from this one and give it a little point. So I'm going to come out from behind here, give it a little point and from down here and give it a point. All right, so I'm gonna do another one over here and then I'm gonna probably add one here. I didn't necessarily want them to look like they were all in rows, so I tried to tuck this one down and I'll put one up there. Okay, so for this one, I do not often make butterflies this way, but I think it's so cute. So I'm going to put a little head up here and then a nice long body and I'm going to let it get a little bit wider at the bottom and kind of curve it a little bit. And then I'm just going to do it like we're seeing the side view. So I'm going to give this a nice big like sort of triangular shape kind of curving those edges and coming back down. I'm going to come out from behind here and do that same shape, but maybe a little bit smaller. And I'm just doing that and then tucking it in. They can be any shape you want. So if yours ends up really wide or it comes out really straight, I promise you it looks amazing. And now we want to show like the back side of those wings. So I'm just going to mimic this um, shape here by coming up and over and down. And then this one over here by going up, over and down. So I'm just sort of putting in those little back wings. And then I'm gonna give them long antenna that are sort of bending forward. And I'm not going to give him little legs just because I didn't on any of my other ones. But if you would like to, you could put some cute little legs on there. You could even draw it landing on a petal of a flower or on a branch. But that's pretty cute. All right, I have a little spot up here. So I'm going to do another one of those beautifly ones, those very first ones. So I'm going to start with the two wings on the side, and then it's going to go up and down for my loop. And then I do a mirror image, give it a bottom loop, and put in some antenna. I have a space here, so I'm going to do one of these like little loopy ones. So it's just a straight line, and then I do a loop. And I've got space over here, so I'm going to do a spiral. Just play around with your most favorite ones and fill in your spaces.
All right. So our 20 minutes are up. I'm trying to keep these under 20 minutes. But now, of course, now that you've drawn these, play with them. Play with decorating inside. You've done enough tootling or you've done some zentangling. Um, I'll spend about one or two minutes just sort of adding some fun designs. And then I want you to play. So I'm going to put in, I'm just making these up. But I'll put in some you know, little rounded loops there. I can do an aura where I just sort of go on that inside and add some decorations inside those little areas. We could add some spirals. Lots of butterflies have these like circular shapes on the sides of them. I think they're meant to look like eyes often to scare off predators. But now you can just have fun playing with these. If you still have spaces you want to fill in, then maybe put in some little naturey type spirals. Kind of matches the look of the antennas. Anyway, I'm going to stop there. You have fun. Add some color. And um, I hope you liked that one. And we will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.